lovely guy, Woody. He's really a rotten thing that, um, what happened and all. She gets killed and, and, and falls to the pool where she's working. And from then on, she's chased because he gave her uh, a key. I don't ask for these things to happen to me. They just happen to me. You know, I'm not a professional victim, you know. And, and I'm not taking it anymore. You know, listen, I wouldn't normally do these things. I'm a, a woman who's put in a desperate situation, and i got to do desperate things. She then runs into uh, David, who is holed up in his brother-in-law's motel in the Everglades. And he's dope. He's got his head in the sand. He doesn't want to go out with his, his brother-in-law, ex-wife's brother, stays there with him at this defunct spa where he's supposed to be the golf pro. Jack is really nice. He's a nice guy. I mean, well, he gives me a hard time a lot. He's, you know, he, he just doesn't get it sometimes, you know? I try and explain things to him, but he just doesn't get it. There's just this bundle of energy, this, this eccentric bundle of girl there that's cute and quirky, and suddenly there's electricity in his life again. And he reluctantly begins to help her. And then the two of them take off, and then they pick up Pompey along the way. By mistake, he comes and gets me. Because she says that she has a son. And so he comes to get me. And we go on a big adventure, and that the killer's um, chasing us. The kid thinks it's funny. He thinks it's a joyride. It's not a joyride. I keep telling him. Tell you know, you got to go home. That's basically the plot of the movie. Is that is that it's a chase scene for the last two acts, and uh, the bad guy's chasing us, and we try to escape by train by jumping off a trestle, which is what we're shooting today. I'm gonna jump. You're a crazy woman. It's his idea. It's his idea. <laughs> a car, we use her mom's car, and uh, he still seems to stay on a trail. So. It's, it's, it's kind of an adventure, comedy, thriller, treasure hunt. There's murders, there's love, there's jokes, there's, you know, a little of everything. Look for Moon Over Miami in theaters sometime near the end of 1990.